Survivor season 43 has officially come to a close, and it's time to recap that crazy three-hour finale. Okay, so let's seems get like it just started, it. but go ahead. I know the season like <laughs> flew by. Okay, it did. so at final five, um, the final five get a final advantage clue. Mm -hmm. Carla finds it um, because I had to like solve this little puzzle of sorts to do it. So with this advantage. She essentially gets, um, what's the word? Like an advantage in the final five immunity. So yes. she had like an upper hand when it came to that challenge, right? right. So right. also at final five, they had to move islands, which was interesting. So then they get to the immunity challenge. It was, um, it was pretty <laughs> tight, uh, but Owen takes the win, which was exciting. So Owen really honestly has been on the come up the entire season. Like I know. for someone who was literally at the bottom the mm -hmm. very first episode, it's crazy that he's still here. Did you ever think that he had a chance of winning? No. Okay. But I mean, I don't know. I don't. So it, good it's for him on this one. <laughs> yeah, it's good for him for sure. So um, then we get to the final five tribal council. Um, Jesse finally pulls out the idol that he's had half the season that we thought was gone. That was Janine's. Remember this? Yes. He's been a tricky yes. trickster lately. Yes. But yes. then eventually Carla was the one eliminated. Voted out. Yes. yes. And I have to say, one of the highlights of the season was watching Janine's face when Jesse pulled out the idol. That was <laughs> yeah. absolutely hysterical. A little surprise. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that just, just made. Bit. My entire heart so happy. <laughs> okay, so then we get to the final four immunity challenge. Now, the big thing about this is that this is the final immunity of the season, as well as whoever wins this immunity kind of decides who has to compete in the fire making challenge. Yes. So, and that is once, always so hard. Yeah, oh, but once again this season, Cassidy pulls out the win. She really has kind of become like an immunity challenge beast. Um, yeah, she season really of Survivor, has. Um, in kind of the most surprising but best way. Yeah. So then at the final four, for Tribal Council. She saves Owen, so Gabler and Jesse have to compete against each other in fire making. And I have to and say, and that's, oh. If Go ahead. seeing Janine's face was one of my favorite moments of the season, <laughs> then seeing Jesse lose this fire making was probably most one of the depressing moments of the season. Oh, it was really, really, really sad. Yeah. You thought so? Because Jesse was probably my favorite player. I was hoping he was going to win. That's because he has played it well and has been tricky He's the been last such a few strong weeks. player. And Gabler yeah. just did the fire so fast. Like, that's mm -hmm. definitely in his wheelhouse, and it was so And a lot obvious. of times it doesn't happen that way. A lot no. of times they think they're getting it, and it goes out, and they start over, you know? So. Correct. Correct. So then. Final Tribal Council arrives, and so it's Gabler versus Cassidy versus Owen. Okay, mm -hmm. and I just, okay, if you had to take a wild guess based off the whole season, who would you have predicted was going to win based off these three? I would say Cassidy. Cassidy? Okay, and see, yeah. I think that's what a lot of people yeah. assumed, but... But <laughs> so much a surprise of all viewers, Gabler, Gabler. wins the season with seven out of eight votes. Um, I would not have guessed. No, that. me. I really it was. But they, I mean, they have a chance to plead their case yeah. to the jury, and sometimes that completely changes everything. Right. Yeah, and that's the thing. I think this jury was kind of weird, for lack of a lack of a better <laughs> word. Um, I think that they their expectations were just very different than maybe what people had in past seasons. Uh -huh. They were really just looking for the right person to defend their game. Yeah. And I guess they thought Gabler did. The best job of that so yeah. i don't know kind of a it's weird season in my opinion it, to me but, that was a little bit of a twist yeah, yeah so definitely very very interesting and of course the entire season is available to stream on paramount plus so it's been a it's been an interesting season to say the least yeah so what's your I don't favorite know. part about these mm. seasons I would say I like seeing um, like the evolution of each player mm -hmm. on um, on this season, especially like if they make it to the final tribal council and especially if they're like a standout. Yeah um, like Owen specifically, I was telling um, someone else that works on our crew here this earlier, Owen specifically had like this really strong, um, deeply rooted underdog story this season. And it was really, even though he didn't win, it was cool to see him make the final three because as I mentioned, he was an option to be out in the very first episode and for right. him to make it to final three was absolutely huge. A big huge. deal. Yeah. yeah. So I really like seeing him. Um, and a lot of times the people that make it that far, even if they don't win, they go on to do other things yeah. because they're kind of notable, you know, course. people know who they are at that yes. point. So. Yeah. And of course, it's always just fun, like getting to see um, stories that maybe haven't been done on the show before, like Noelle really stood out this season, yeah. um, being an above the knee amputee. She did a stellar job and she was yeah, a big threat which is why she got out when she did so yep. it's been a lot of fun yep. and we look season. forward to the next one <laughs> but next blake recently caught up with the